Let's open for goals, to be honest. We've seen 15 goals across the first two games today. We scored 23 goals across the four yesterday. So let's get it on. Let's see who comes out on top between Everton and Chelsea Smith. Yeah, of course, these two sides have met twice in the Premier League this season. Um, and it was two very famous games, actually. Chelsea winning 4-0 at Stamford Bridge against Everton. Uh, both our contenders today, James and Gomez, played. Um, and at Goodison Park, Everton beating Chelsea 3-1. That was a famous game uh, as well. So goals galore in the Premier League and victories for, for both Everton and Chelsea. So two very famous games in the Premier League this season. Uh, that have gone either way and it's again one that we can't call interestingly Rhys James who so many Chelsea fans are, are very excited about there's so many young exciting Chelsea players uh, that Frank Lampard and Jody Morris have brought through into the first team and Rhys James is one that a lot of fans are very excited about uh, interesting uh, doing a bit of research saying that he said his toughest opponent in the Premier League uh, was Raheem Sterling uh, when he came up against him so it'll be interesting to see if Rhys James will come up against Raheem Sterling in the this FIFA tournament and whether or not he'll be uh, a tough tough opponent as well because just to reiterate if Reese wins this game he will play Raheem Sterling in the next round yeah really exciting stuff Andre Gomez playing really well so far though much control of the ball and he goes 1-0 up it is a great start from Andre Gomez and Calvert-Lewin gets the goal talk us through that one Andre <laughs> don't put pressure on me <laughs> 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 just trying to stay focused at the moment you can tell both players are really concentrating Everton going 1-0 up here and as we said pre-game Harry we think Andre Gomez might be a little bit of a dark horse definitely I saw the chair and it, and it just clicked in my head I knew this guy was a very 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 serious sweeper player and I think it's always good to score first it gives you more of a a better chance to be more relaxed with your approach rather than being a bit tentative. But like I said, uh, Rhys James has been touted as a Chelsea legend on FIFA. So let's see how he does. It's still, it's still early days, but Joe, great start from Andre. Yeah, great start from Andre. We're going to see some fantastic games over the next few days as well. Just a reminder that the game following this will see Musa Sissoko take on Christian Atsu. And if you tune in tomorrow, you'll be able to see Diogo Jota playing Wilfred and Didi, Todd Cantwell, the tournament favourite, who's been putting on his social media how much he's been practising and how much he's looking forward to it. He'll be playing Lise Mousse of Sheffield United. And then you'll get to see the players you've already seen once play again. And they're in Everton, though. Andre Gomez makes it 2-0. We have a serious FIFA player on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. What's the goal, Harry? Andre Gomez, the dark horse. Andre, what is going on in your mind right now? Is the game done? <laughs> Not being really, to be honest. It's too early. Anything can happen. So, Reese, what has to change in the, in the first half for you to get back into this game? No, nothing. I'm, I'm still warming up. Oh, he's still warming, he said. Ooh, he's still warming. I like that. It's not done. Yeah, it's definitely not done. This game has started at frantic pace. We've seen so many goals across fixtures so far, and this is not disappointing. So far, Andre Gomez is sweeping forward. There's another chance for Andre Gomez, and a good save by Kepa in the sticks. That was a crucial moment in this game. 3-0 after 20 minutes could well have been done and dusted. But it isn't. And at the moment, Reese James stays in the game. Of course, the winner of this will take on Raheem Sterling at the quarter-final stage. All to play for, Smithy. Yeah, all to play for. It's been a very, very good start for Andre Gomez. Very impressed with him there. I feel like we've underestimated him in this tournament 2-0. But also worth pointing out, Reese James, probably the perfect person to represent Chelsea. He's quite simply Chelsea through and through. Joined Chelsea at the age of six. Uh, won so much in that youth team setup that Jody Morris um, was, was involved in. Uh, and we saw them win so many trophies and finally got his uh, debut at such a young age uh, in the Premier League alongside so many other young players that Frank Lampard has given game time to. Um, and it's been a very, very exciting time for Reese James for Chelsea, but there's another chance. Oh, it's dragged wide. Wow, that, could that be a big miss in the game, Joe? That could have been 3 0, and that would have been very hard for Reese to come back to, but it has been dragged wide. Yeah, it could have been 4 0 after 25 minutes. We obviously saw that big, big save from Kepler just minutes earlier, and then Andre missing a fantastic one on one chance with Bernard. I mean, those sort of chances have to hit the back of the net, I feel, in the later stages of this tournament in particular. But at the moment, 2-0 up, 
looking fairly comfortable. Reese just looking to warm into the game. It's very different to a lot of the modes that players are used to. A lot of players play ultimate team. This is obviously 85 rated kickoff mode, so slightly different in terms of technique. Everybody starts on an even playing field. And at the moment, Everton are just sweeping forward in numbers. Reese is just struggling to contain these attacks from Andre Gomez. But there we see a better bit of defending, Harry. Better bit of defending. I feel like Andre is kind of playing how he plays in the real life. It's very elegant and controlled. Uh, it seems to be knowing what he's doing right now. But as you already know, anything can happen. I feel like Reese is slowly getting into the game now. So who knows what can happen in the second half. But it's been a great uh, first half from Andre. Yeah, been a brilliant first half just after the half an hour mark. And he's sweeping forward again, Andre Gomez, really looking to use the pace of Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Theo Walcott on the counter-attack against this Chelsea back line. And Smithy, you know, we've seen some top players playing already. And over the next few days, we've got plenty more to come, haven't we? Got some big, big games kind of after this, of course. Uh, fourth and final game from day two, we'll see Spurs against Newcastle, Moussa Sissoko against Christian Atsu. Another story there, of course, Moussa Sissoko representing Spurs, playing against his former club. Uh, there's another chance. Oh, it's a good save. And then tomorrow, Joe, we've got just so many big players playing. Diogo Jota, I don't feel like we've spoken to him about him enough. David Milo, I spoke to him in the week, and he's, of course, a former Premier League player and an avid FIFA player, and he knows a lot of the oh. players. And he said Neil Mopai and Diogo Jota are two of the best players that he knows at the game of FIFA. Uh, Philip Billin, of course, will go up against uh, Neil Mopai. That's going to be a very, very tough game for both. So there's so many exciting players. And I haven't even mentioned Todd Campbell as well. So it's very, very tough to call. And all of this is encouraging you all to stay at home, save lives. Fantastic cause. And also, we're hoping that it's keeping you entertained throughout this period of isolation. And this game, Joe, like all the ones we've seen so far, hasn't disappointed yet. Yeah, exactly. We've got three minutes to go until half-time. Reese is on the attack here, looking to get one back before the half-time whistle. He isn't able to, and now Andre Gomez can break out. Andre, of course, shaved his head in self-isolation. I might have to be considering that myself soon as well. I've seen a lot of players do it. And here he is, Andre Gomez, sweaty goal. 3-0 right on half-time. Reese, are you happy that Andre has sweated that in? To be fair, it is what it is. I'll have done the same thing. Very calm and composed there. We saw Raheem Sterling and Will Sarkar not tapping each other for sweating earlier. But having said that, 3-0 going into the half-time period. Everton looked pretty comfortable here. Andre Gomez, we said it pre-game. He's got the game in chair. Maybe we should have talked about him more, Harry. What are the people saying? Yes, uh, we've got a question for Reese James. Um, who is the best yep. player you've played outside of um, your club on FIFA? Um, yeah, it probably is, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> Andre Gomez. <laughs> yeah. And Andre, a quick question for you. Um, how do you reckon you look on FIFA? Is it accurate? Well, uh, it's hard to say uh, because I never play with myself. So, to be honest, I don't know my stats. So, so who's your go-to team on FIFA then? Well, I play a lot uh, with Everton, with Barcelona with Valencia, basically the teams that I play before. Um, but honestly, I never play with myself, so uh, I can't answer you, to be honest. All right, no worries. Well, guys, when you're ready, you can start the second half. Smithy, what are you expecting from this half? I'll tell you what, it's been it's not disappointing, has it, Harry? Uh, it's been a great first half. As I say, the players are ready to start the second half. Uh, I think we're going to see more goals. We've been so fortunate we've seen so many goals in this second half. It'd be interesting to see if there's any tactical changes. It doesn't look like there are. Uh, and Reese James needs a big performance because he's 3-0 down. Uh, Andre Gomez. Don't forget as well, we've only had one clean sheet in the whole tournament uh, and that was Philip Billing. Um, so will we see another clean sheet or will we see Reese James start this second half uh, a lot stronger as he looks to make a substitution? Barkley Jorginho um, is the substitution that's being made. Will that have a difference, Joe? Well, at the moment, it doesn't look like it because Everton are sweeping 
forward and they're going to score again. Are they? No, yes they are. The tap in 4-0 to Everton. They are running away with this. We saw Raheem Sterling Zaha 5-4, Trent beat Tom 5-1 and now Andre Gomez putting down a yardstick in terms of his ability on FIFA, Harry. Yeah, it's been a very, very, very clinical uh, performance from Andre. He's absolutely taken every chance that he's needed to. Uh, I think he was being a bit humble on, on, on uh, purpose, just to make sure we can wow everyone and he's wowed us with four goals. Amazing, Joe. Yeah, we can see Reese has got about six inches closer to the screen when that fourth goal has gone in. <laughs> Concentration mode going in for Reese James. Obviously, as Sniffy alluded to earlier, we've only seen one clean sheet so far. That was from Philip Billing in that 4-0 demolition of Angus Gunn but goals galore this tournament has been really Andre Gomez is in again it's gonna be a fifth it is a fifth this is a masterful performance so far Andre thanks <laughs> you're very modest Andre I have to say so far having watched a lot of the FIFA players you're one of the best we've seen well I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to enjoy it trying to do the same thing that I do on the pitch. So, at least I'm trying to be as much real as possible. So there we go, Smithy. 5-0 at the 50-minute mark. This one's getting a bit ugly, isn't it, Smithy? 5-0. I mean, let's be honest, none of us saw this. None of the fans saw this coming. This uh, one-sided. We didn't know a great deal about either player. We thought this would be very competitive. It did start quite close, but recently Andre Gomez just taken complete control of this game. 56 minutes on the clock. Everton 5, Chelsea 0. And there's another chance. And it's 6-0, Joe. Andre Gomez with the sixth goal of the game. What a strike that is. Andre, is this the perfect performance from yourself? <laughs> well, um, I think for now the things are going well, so maybe yes. I think you took yourself down. I think you might be one of these the favourites for the tournament, Andre, watching you play here. <laughs> oh, honestly, I love how I modest he is, Jack. The base of, of playing is trying to make as, as much real as, as possible, so... The idea is... Yeah, I think that's really interesting as well, though. We're hearing Andre talk about how he's trying to make it feel as real as possible, how he's trying to make it as close to the game he usually plays as possible. And it's clearly working. It's going to be seven here. This is a fantastic performance from Andre Gomez. Potentially the best we've seen so far this tournament. We are talking about Neil Mopai and his ability. Reese James, talk to us. What's gone wrong here? Oh, to be fair, he's a great player. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I totally agree. This is one of the better players we've seen so far in this tournament, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, absolutely amazing. I think with Andre Gomez, he's, he knew what he wanted to do from the start and he's implemented that with the way he's played. It's been a very, very, very strong performance. It's not easy to play against a player with a gamer chair and headphones. So it's been a tough game for Reese, but Andre Gomez has been miles away from for me. Yeah, one of the best players we've seen so far in this EPL invitation. Of course, a long way to go. There's lots expected, but it could... Great go towards the camera there when that one hit the back of the net. It looks like you're going to be facing Raheem Sterling next, Andre, if you do go through. Are you feeling confident about that one, having, having this game under your belt? <laughs> well, uh, I didn't saw the game... Uh from uh, Zaha and, and Sterling. But you never know, it's like uh, anything can happen, especially when people. I score eight goals, maybe they can score eight as well. So. so eight goals so far and still trying to keep a clean sheet. This is an incredible performance, Smithy. Joe, do you know what is, is fascinating about how this draw is unfolding is that we've looked at the other side of the draw and saying how, how many strong competitors. The other side of the draw, don't forget, has got Todd Cantwell in it. It's got Diogo Jota. It's got Neil Mopai, Philip Billing, Dwight McNeil. We looked at the other side of the draw and thought this is the harder side of the draw. But I think we're doing a disservice to everyone in the left-hand side of it because this has got Andre Gomez, who's currently winning 8-0. Um, it's also got Trent Alexander-Arnold and Raheem Sterling. So this is so tough to call. And looking at the potential fixtures that are opening up, we're going to see Andre Gomez next against 
Raheem Sterling. I mean, that is going to be so tough to call. We've got a potential Merseyside derby later on as well. Liverpool, Everton in the same half of the draw. There's so many exciting fixtures. Uh, and that's not even mentioning Spurs, Newcastle, Moussa Sissoko and Christian Atsu, who we haven't seen play yet. And that is our next game. So, Joe, don't ask me to make any predictions, mate, because this is tough. <laughs> I can't call it. Yeah, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal performance from Andre Gomez. Of course, if you missed it earlier, we are playing an 85-rated kickoff mode, so everybody is equal in terms of attributes. Andre Gomez here looking to make it nine. Went for the sweaty route, probably should have shot, and it wasn't to be. We're also looking for our second clean sheet, only our second clean sheet in seven games. Of course, Philip Billing picked up the first and at the moment it looks like Andre Gomez will pick up the second. We nearly saw one, of course, from Trent Alexander-Arnold, but Tom Grennan managed to get a last minute goal with Anthony Martial when he lost 5-1. So still a little bit of time left to get a goal back for Rhys James. But at the moment, this is one of the most commanding performances we've seen so far in the tournament. And like you said, Smithy, this side of the draw, maybe we just haven't spoken about it enough, Harry. Yeah, we haven't. I think underdogs are being, you know, undervalued. Uh, so we need to put some respect on their name. And clearly, Andre Gomez has shown why we need to. Um, very strong performances. I think what's happened is we've looked at the football players and we've, we haven't looked at players who haven't actually been out there on social media saying they're the best. And Andre Gomez actually now has the chance to do that now. Because this is an outstanding performance, Joe. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant performance so far. Coming up towards the last five minutes of this game. Of course, next up for you is Musa Sissoko versus Christian Atsu. So stay tuned for that one. We've already seen Tom Grennan go out to Trent Alexander-Arnold today and Wilfred Zaha crash out in an epic 5-4 game against Raheem Sterling that really had it all. But right now, we are witnessing one of the performances of the tournament. Andre Gomez will be making Everton fans very, very happy right now in self-isolation as he is winning 8 nil smithy yeah eight nil you have heard it's right the graphic is correct it is eight nil that isn't a mistake from us it's been absolute domination from andre gomez worth pointing out as well of course that the premier league record is nine nil the greatest margin of victory man united did that against Ipswich in 1995 and of course this season leicester beating southampton nine nil uh, that is the greatest margin of victory if he, if he gets two more goals that that'd be, that'd be a record he only needs two more goals for that and he had a chance there, so 8-0. Obviously, of course, that yeah, is, is in Premier League, and this is on FIFA, but it just goes to show how well Andre Gomez has played as we approach uh, the last few seconds of the game, Joe. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant performance. One of the best we've seen. And there is the final whistle.